Hi, it's me, Anna. Welcome back. Thanks for joining me. I thought it might be a good idea for us to focus on learning to be there for ourselves and um, learning how to distance ourselves from people that seemingly love us and care about us, but at the same time tend to drag us down and almost drown us with their, you know, their turmoil, their drama, their pain. Um, you could label it a toxic relationship, someone that you're maybe in a toxic relationship with. This could be someone you're dating, could be a parent, could be a sibling, could be a friend, co-worker. Um, toxic relationships come in all shapes and sizes. So I wanted to focus a little bit on just letting go of some of the guilt that you might have if you're you're trying to learn how to separate, you know, cut cords, and just learn how to really love yourself. Because when you separate from those relationships that don't serve you and don't bring you love, it just amplifies the love that you have for yourself and the love that you can give to others. Others that are open and ready for it, ready to receive it. Alright, so let's go ahead and um, find any sore tender spots. Just find the collarbone, drop down. Feel around for any sore tender spots. Give it a circular massage and take a deep breath. And you're just going to repeat after me. If any of the words I say don't fit how you're feeling, change them to ones that do. Alright? The more authentic this is, the better. Even though part of me is struggling with letting him or her go, I choose to love myself. Even though a part of me feels very guilty for even thinking about separating myself. I accept where I am. even though I'm really struggling with learning how to love myself while distancing myself from them. I choose to love myself and forgive myself anyway. Okay, we're going to go up to the eyebrows. All this guilt. Side of the eye and the shame. Under the eye. I feel so ashamed. Under the nose. I'm so guilty. Chin. I should stay and be there for this person. I should be there for her. She doesn't have anyone else. Top of the head. It's my job to be there. <sighs> Eyebrow. I feel so guilty for not wanting to help her anymore. <sighs> Side of the eye. I feel so sad. Under the eye. I don't know how to let this go. Under the nose. I'm not even sure if I can. Chin. No one else loves her like I do. Chest. No one else puts up with her like I do. <clears throat> Top of the head, so much guilt and shame. <sighs> Eyebrow. I feel terrible for not wanting to be there anymore. Side of the eye. It's almost like I'm losing a part of me. Under the eye. Because this struggle has been a part of who I am for such a long time. 
with the nose. I'm not sure if I can do it. Chin. And that's okay. I don't have to do it. Just, I forgive myself for struggling with this. It's really, really hard for me. And sometimes it breaks my heart. Top of the head. All this heartbreak. All this sadness. I honor it just as it is. And I can't be sad forever. I honor my fear and my sadness and my guilt. <sighs> Tap under the nose. I can feel guilty until I'm 95. Up the chin. I can feel sad and heartbroken until I'm 102. That's okay. That's my choice. Top the chest. I don't have to let her go. I don't have to move on. I honor where I am and I forgive myself even if nothing ever changes here. Eyebrow. What if by letting go I gain something? Top the side of the eye. What if by letting go she gains something? Up under the eye. I don't really believe that. <laughs> but some part of me does. Up under the nose. I'm connecting with the part of me that loves me unconditionally. <sighs> Chin. I'm connecting with God and the universe. I say whatever you believe in. <sighs> I'm connecting with my true self. The highest part of me now. Tap the chest. I'm learning to love myself and forgive myself. Tap the top of the head. I am worthy of love. Eyebrow. I'm worthy of forgiveness. The side of the eye. And I'm worthy of relationships that don't break my heart. Under the eye. I'm worthy of people that really love and honor the awesome person that I am. Top of the nose. I'm opening up to connecting with those people. Top the chin. I'm opening up to honoring my worth and my value. Top the chest. Learning how to love myself is scary. And that's okay. <laughs> I'm worth it. I'm worth loving. I'm worth honoring. I'm worth saving. It's, it was never my job to save her. Top the top of the head. I choose to love myself and forgive myself. Eyebrow. Tapping into love. Side of the eye, tapping into strength and wisdom. <sighs> Tap under the eye, connecting with who I really am. Under the nose, being true to myself and my gifts. Tap the chin, being true to my radiance. Because it's in there. Whether I let it out or not, it doesn't matter. It's there. Tap the chest. I choose to know I'm worth it. I choose to love myself on all levels. 
it's safe to love me. And if I decide I'm ready, it's safe to let this relationship go. <sighs> Tapping into love and safety and joy on all levels. Body, mind, and spirit. As always, if you like this video or any of my videos, be sure to give them a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. And Google Plus. Google Plus it. Plus one it or plus two it if someone else has plus it. Thank you.